chapter 6, lesson 2, is about composite figures. So we saw composite figures in grade 5, which means now it's the same. The only difference is it's now the addition of a triangle. So when we say composite figure, it's neither a rectangle nor a square nor a triangle. It's a combination of the figures. So therefore, when we find the area, we need to add or subtract areas that make up the bigger picture. So um, we need to remember area of a rectangle is length times breadth, which is also length times width. So the book uses breadth, which means for consistency's sake, I'll also use breadth. Okay, the area of a square is side times side. And now we know the area of a triangle, one half times base times height. Okay, so which means when we look at the exercises for today, this lesson, um, we need to be able to apply either two or all three of these. So the lessons come from pages 113 and 114. So we'll start with problem 1b on page 113. It says the figure ABCD is made up of a triangle of triangles A, B, F, B, C, D, and A, F, D. A, E, F, G is a rectangle. C, D is 5 centimeters. A, G is equal to D, G, which is equal to 5 centimeters. Also, A, E is equal to B, E, which is equal to 3 centimeters. Okay, so all of that is in reference to a picture. Okay, so I'll try to draw the picture as best as I can. Okay, so we're asked to find the area of the figure. So to find the area of figure, this would technically be the sum of different areas. So we can look at the first area, A, B, A, B, this is F. A, B, F. So area of A, B, F. And then we need to add area of A, F, D. And area of B, D, C. Okay, so each of those uses the same formula, area equals one-half base times height. Okay, so it's either you compute those separately and put there after, or you compute it onto here. My suggestion is compute separately. So area of ABF is equal to one-half, so I'll put the general area, one-half, times base, times height. So again, it's ideal that every time we use a formula, we write it down. So, one-half base of ABF, ABF would be 6. And the height will be 5. So, again, the symbols represent equal. So, 3 and 3 is 6. This and this are equal. So, if this is 5, that's also 5. So, again, assuming that calculators are allowed, this would be 15. The area of the next triangle, A, F, D, is one half times the base. This would be the base, which is five plus five. Okay, so that means that will be 10. And then the height, which is three. Okay, so which means, again, that will be 30 divided by two, that would be 15. Okay, and finding the last area, area of B, D, C, that will be one half base. This will be the base, which is five. And the height will technically be this. And that height is the same as that, which is 10. So which means if we multiply, that would give us 25. So if we take 15 and 15 
and 25, that's 30 plus 25 is 55. And since this is area, this will be centimeters squared. Moving on to page 114, another problem that I will be discussing is 1D. Okay, so it gives us another figure. Okay, so it says, in the figure, P, Q, R, S, T, U, P, Q is 6 centimeters, U, T is 7 centimeters, Q, R is 2 centimeters, and R, T and R, S, and S, T are equal at 4 centimeters each. Okay, then it says, find the area of the figure. So the thing is, clearly, this is a mixture of a triangle and a few rectangles. So my suggestion is, first, what we want to do is draw that and that. And I will call this X, and I will call this Y. So that when I write down the area formula, I can refer to them. So the area of the whole... will therefore be the area of uh, P, X, U. That's P, X, U. Plus area of X, Q, Y, U. So X, Q, Y, U. Plus area of R, S, T, Y. R, S, T, Y. Okay, so which means... The area of, I'll put it here on the side, area of PXU, just as I did in the last problem. I'll compute those separately and then I'll put it onto here. This is a triangle and I only used it once, so I'll write down the formula first before computing. So here, since this is 4, that means this is also 4 which means this is technically 3, which means if that's 3, this is also 3, which means this is also 3. So again, the first step is to figure out the components. Okay, so which means if I look at this, this is 1 half base, which would have been 3. And the height would have been the 2 plus the 4. So that's 2 plus 4, which makes it 6. So if I multiply, that will be 18 times a half is 9. Okay, so looking at the next figure, area of x, q, y, u, this would be a rectangle. So that means that will be length times breadth. So this would be the length, that would be the breadth, but it doesn't make a difference because we're multiplying anyway. So this is 3. This is, like a while ago, that would be 4 plus 6. Four, uh, 4 plus 2, sorry. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 times 3, which makes it 18. Okay, so if we move further, this would be area of R. S, T, Y. So you can call it a rectangle, but clearly this is a square. So if it's a square, then that means that side times side. But if you say length times breadth, it's also the same because all squares are rectangles. So if we take that to be 4 times 4, that means that's going to be 16. Now if I add 9 plus 18 plus 16, we should get 43. And since our unit of measurement is centimeters, this will be centimeters squared. So again, parents and kids, if we are to use a formula, we want to write it down. One thing is so that we don't miss anything out. The other is so that it stays in our brain cells. So if you need to use your calculator, use your calculator to check 
you can only use a calculator when the number itself has a calculator picture. Otherwise, the numbers are small enough that you are expected to be able to solve those without a calculator. That concludes lesson 2 of chapter 6, which concludes the chapter and also concludes the module. See you in the next module.